I'd like my own house. ta -da! You know Mrs May, Biff's teacher? Well, Biff says that Mrs May says... You can use words, words to paint a picture. But you use paint to paint a picture. Or to paint a dog, for that matter. Oops! Hey! Good house, Kipper. Bit small, though. OK, Chip. I'll make it big. Good idea. I like your big house, Kipper. My big house, actually. Why don't you make it pink? Pink. OK, Wilma. A big pink house coming up. Oh, what a splendid big pink house, Kipper. Uh, have you thought of making it look... Scary? Yes! Scary! Great idea! I'll put in spiders and a ghost! I'll stick with my kennel, thanks. There! A big, pink, scary house. Mrs May's right! You can use words to paint a picture. Hmm. But you managed to paint that wall without using any words at all. Home, sweet home. <laughs> I should go for a walk, but... Oh, I'd rather stay here. Oh, I know. I'll describe a walk with words. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Um, I'm walking in the park. There are birds in the trees. And there's a long winding path and at the end of the path there's a muddy hole a big muddy hole no a small muddy hole and at the bottom of the small muddy hole there's a bone no 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 it's an enormous juicy bone Maybe I will go for a walk after all. Tea's up. Tea? Coming! Oh, hold your horses, Floppy. I haven't finished you yet. Oh. <clears throat> OK, now, Kipper. I love it. Let's go. No, Gran, it still isn't right. It's not the tree I saw in my head, is it, Teddy? Never mind the tree. How about some tea? Didn't you say you wanted a tall tree? Yes, but it had different branches and I wanted sea, not a river. Oh, why can't I get you to draw what I want you to draw? I wish he could. I'm starving. Uh oh Oh, if I'd have known we were coming here, I'd have brought my bikini. This is exactly the picture I wanted, Gran. Make way for the yellow fellow! <laughs> Take cover! It's Razor the Eraser! Rubba dub, rubba dub, rubba dub, rubba dub, rubba dub, rubba dub. Don't rub out that lovely yellow sun. Uh oh! I'll catch you, crayons. 
Then I'll make you draw pictures for me to rub out every minute of every day. You leave those crowns alone, you wretched eraser. Right then. I'll catch you instead and shut you up in my pencil case. Ha-ha! <laughs> Let Gwen go! Make the crowns draw me something exciting to rub out. Then I'll let her go. Or not. <laughs> We've got to stop Fraser the Eraser. But how? Can't be done. Believe me, we've tried. I know. What if you draw something that can eat him up? Oh, yes, great idea. Like what, exactly? Like, uh, like, a beast. What does a beast look like, then? Well, um, it, it has a head and a tail and... Oh, like him, you mean? Me? A beast? Oh, give me a break. Step to it, Crowns. Draw the beast. No, not like that. Stop. Wait. Stop. Ta-da! <laughs> That's not a beast. That's Floppy. Well, you'd better describe exactly the kind of beast you do want. Rubber dub, rubber dub, rubber dub dub. Enemy alert! Run for the tin! That wasn't very exciting, was it? Ah, ha -ha. I want something exciting to run out. Not very exciting? What a nerve! Oh, Floppy, I want Gran back. How can I describe a beast that will catch Fraser? A fierce beast. Right. <laughs> Go on. Describe him. With, uh, red woolly fur and, um, shiny green eyes and, um, long yellow pointy teeth and twirly orange ears. Wait! <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> and sharp pink claws! Pink claws? That's me! Whoopee! I'm Sue Blue, and I'm always doing sky. Sky, sky, and more sky. Boring. I'm fed up with sky. I never have any fun. Cheer up, Sue Blue. I'll think of something for you to colour. Um... Finished! Oh, you're perfect. I preferred the other one. <laughs> When Fraser comes, I want you to roar just like that. And if he runs away, you've got to chase him, right? And catch him with those marvellous pink claws of yours I drew. Rubber dub, rubber dub, rubber dub dub. Oh, no! Oh, 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 no! I don't love to be a misery guts, but as soon as that beast catches him, Fraser will rub him out. Oh, no! He rubs everything out, except my sea. I don't blame him. It's freezing, that sea of yours. Maybe he doesn't like getting wet. Maybe if he gets wet, then he can't rub. You're right! Wet erasers can't rub out. Sue Blue, come with me. Got you, you rotten eraser! Nonsense! I can rub these pink claws out as quick as a flash! Quick, Sue! Draw some rain! Yippee! Goodbye, Sky. I'm covering you in rain. Don't make me wet. I can't rub when I'm wet. Make it thicker, Sue! Make it wetter! Oh, no! Help! Please stop it, stop! In the name of Fraser, I'll be a better eraser. I'll only rub out what you don't want. I promise! OK! Stop, Sue Blue! Hold Fraser while I let Gran out. <laughs> I'm an eraser. I rub things out. But that's what I'm for. And we're crowns. 
We colour things in. That's what we're for. What if they promise to draw something for you to rub out every day? Then I'll leave their world alone. Hooray! Thank you, Kipper. You did a terrific job. Here, a little something to keep you and Gran dry. The key's glowing! We're going! That's just right, Gran. Well, once you told me exactly what you wanted, I could draw it. Wait, something's missing. Come on, your tea's getting cold. I'm out of here. Wait for us. <laughs> Floppy! Mmm, sweet and sticky and delicious. Just how toffee pudding should be. Are you sweet and sticky and delicious, Teddy? Of course he isn't. Those aren't the right words to describe a bear. Teddy wants to know what the right words are. I think I've got one for him. Furry. Yes, that's a good word for Teddy. Hi, Wilf. Hi, Wilma. You're just in time for pudding. Brilliant. Thanks, Mrs Robinson. But Teddy needs another word, especially for him. A Teddy kind of word. I know. Cuddly. Yes. He's the most cuddly bear in the world. One more. There we are. Custard. Mum, can you find one more word for Teddy? Oh, um, let me see. Smelly? Teddy isn't smelly. No, of course he isn't. Um, oh. There's a word in here somewhere. I'm sure there is. Ah, grubby. Well, that suits Teddy rather well. He doesn't think so. Let me see now. Terrific! Terrific, Teddy! Terrific toffee pudding, too. So Teddy is furry, cuddly and terrific. Yes! <laughs> now, would furry, cuddly, terrific Teddy like some delicious, sweet, sticky toffee pudding? You bet he would. Now, I want everybody to think about a door. Make it a big door. That's much better. Now, make it a big pink polka dot door. Good. Now, open the big pink polka dot door. The end! When you ask a question, then it's time to go. Starts to glow. We'll play around the planets. We'll sail the seven seas. With floppy Kipper, Biff, and Chip, we'll go with the magic key. Magic, magic, Wolf and Wilma and their friends will solve the mystery. It's an adventure, having fun with the magic key. Magic Key returns next Friday at the same time and the BBC Primary Guide has full details of television and radio programmes and support material from BBC Education for the current academic year. It's available free to schools by phoning 08700 100 321. It's time to wash the smelly mammoths now on BBC Two, a job that calls for a special machine in the first of a double bill of the way things work. If you really want to know what makes it go...